Now, I'm happy to take questions, and I'm told there are going to be four questioners, but I'm not going to do 10 questions from each questioner. All right? Let's make that clear at the outset here. And uh, <laughs> so, and I, I think that uh, we understand one another, which is the most important thing that can be done. I guess all of you are going swimming from here. It's not far. We're going to maintain our positions. I'm not going to get into more questions. I shouldn't even answer your question. No, no, no I don't think that. I, I, I don't think there's enough. Thank all right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. That's the, that could. Um, uh, I can't have trouble reading this. Reuters, uh, Natanja Bose. Um, uh, uh, Sung uh, Kim, uh, Associated Press. Um, Sebastian Smith, the, so, uh, uh, the uh, AFP. Thank you very much, Mr. President. It's extremely close. <laughs> Excuse me, I don't usually talk that loud. And now uh, that we are back together here in Cambodia, I look forward to building uh, even stronger progress than we've already made. And I want to thank the Prime Minister of Co for Colombia's leadership and the ASEAN, as ASEAN chair. But again, the races are close, and um, we just, you know, we don't pray for a victory. I, I was I grew up in a political family. We don't pray for the victory, but you pray that God's will will be done. And on that Sunday, that's what we pray on this Sunday. So now that you've met with him face to face, how do you assess um, his sort of posture towards the United States now? And did you find him personally to be more confrontational or more conciliatory and willing to compromise? Neither and yes. I, yes, I didn't find him more. Do I think he's willing to compromise on various issues? Yes. I think he understands that uh, Look, I, I think, how can I say this tactfully? Um, I, think the, uh, I think the election held in the United States was still leaves a little bit uncertain. Legitimate question, a new Cold War. And uh, I think that, uh, I'll conclude by saying it this way. I want to be clear in each of our parts. So we went into... I look at my team. How long did that meeting last? Three and a half hours. So we covered an awful lot of territory to deliver results. At COP27 in Egypt, I made it clear that thanks to the bold agenda of our administration, we pursue from day one to tackle the climate crisis and advance energy and security at home and around the world. The United States will meet. The United States will meet our missions target under the our targets under the Paris Agreement. And we're going to keep working with our partners to support the most vulnerable countries in building resilience to climate impacts and to uh, align global ambition with the 1.5 degrees Celsius goal while supercharging our clean energy transition.